Dit is papa Alfa de Oeko Tingo Oeko voor de Daily Mail. Dat is met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag, 6 mei 2015. Dat is het bulletin van woensdag. Ik doe het normaal gesproken nooit, maar ik moet vandaag helaas het bulletin van afgelopen zondag met het propagatiebulletin herhalen vanwege tijdgebrek. Ja, en de uitzending van vanochtend die ging om een heel andere reden niet door. Ik was niet thuis op dat moment. En op de plaats waar ik was, in een vergadering, daar bleek ik geen 4G bereikt te hebben. Dus ik kon de uitzending niet starten op dat moment. Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Echo Tango Echo. Daily Minutes of May 6, 2015. This is Peter John of Emergency Radio. I never do that, but due to lack of time, I have to repeat the broadcast of uh, last Sunday of the Propagation Bulletin. With one addition, uh, Emergency Sunspot AR2339 unleashed an intensive X2 class solar flare. Radiation from the flare caused strong radio blackouts on the Pacific side of the Earth, interfering with communication at frequencies below 20 MHz. The blast also hurled a CME into space but not toward Earth. This event could herald a sustained period of high solar activity as AR2339 appears to be large and explosive. This according to southgatearc.org. Now the radio propagation report compiled by Golf Zero Kilo Yankee Alpha and Golf 4 Bravo Alpha Oscar on Friday the 1st of May. What a difference a week makes. Last week we said the solar flux index was predicted to hit the 130s. Well this week, apart from one tiny spot in the lower western quadrant, the sun is now looking very bare. At the time of writing, the solar flux index was 104, and the USAF prediction for the bank holiday weekend is an SFI of 100 at the beginning, rising to 135 at the end, and the maximum predicted K index is 2. Now, while not stunning, this could bring reasonably settled conditions and some DX on the lower HF bands. Please note that as we've now entered May, you should be using the latest smooth sunspot number of 60 with your VOA cap based prediction programs. And that's very slightly down on last month. This week, don't forget, we have to remind you to check the bands regardless of what the predictions suggest. Chris, Golf Zero, Delta, Whiskey, Victor worked a string of stations in the USA on 12 metres on Monday at around 17.30 UTC, even though the VOA cap online prediction was quite pessimistic. And finally, as we're now entering the sporadic e-season, keep an eye out on 10 metres for openings out to around... 1,000 to 1,500 miles, especially mid-morning, afternoon and early evening. Now the VHF and upwards propagation news. Well, early next week, expect pretty flat tropo conditions with a large area of low pressure nearby to the west of Britain and frontal troughs moving in across Western Europe. Welcome to early summer. But there's indications of high pressure building again towards the end of next week, and this may produce some enhanced conditions later. Earlier this week, we had sporadic E over the Czech Republic, Eastern Germany and Western Poland, a classic start-of-the-season type cluster, and that correlated very well with a southerly jet stream over that part of Europe. Now, there's every reason to hope that the sporadic E season has started from our latitudes, and with jet streams pushing across the Pyrenees and the Alps, there's a possibility that these weather's triggers will be producing the necessary wind shear in the upper atmosphere, and hence the chance of some ease. Check the late morning and late afternoon for 10 and 6 metre band beacons to get the bands as they open. And a lot of ingredients need to be right for the ease to happen, so it's a heads up for you guys and not just a promise. The ETA Aquarids Meteor Shower, or is that ETA Aquarids Meteor Shower, peaks around Wednesday, May the 6th, with a small broad peak. So look out for enhancements to the usual random meteor scatter conditions. And the moon reaches its lowest declination on Wednesday, so short moon windows for EME, but with low loss on the gigahertz bands. And that's your lot from the propagation team for another week. And that will do it for another GB2RS National News this week. Don't forget, you can catch up with all your regional GB2RS news as it's broadcast all over the country by a number of amateur stations who are on the air 
every Sunday. So see if you can go and track one down and check out what's happening right near you. Don't forget you can grab the new script for this week's broadcast from the RSGB website if you'd like to check out exactly how good the read was this week. And finally, if you've got any news items that you'd like to have included in future broadcasts of GB2RS, don't forget you can get in touch by sending an email to newsdesk at rsgb.org. .uk, but make sure you give us lots of advance notice. I'm Mike Marsh, G1IAR, reporting with the TX News weekly podcast of GB2RS. Thanks for listening, and we'll be back here next week with the latest update on GB2RS. Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Echo Tango Echo. De dagelijkse nieuwsberichten van de Daily Minutes zijn in elk geval de komende weken nog iedere dag om 1900 uur te beluisteren via PI2 NOS. Met een herhaling om half elf de dag erop s ochtends. Je kunt ons mailen op het korte mailadres en dat is xapestatiexdv.me. En eerdere uitzendingen zijn te vinden op pnlete.nl. Wil je meer nieuws? Kijk dan bijvoorbeeld ook eens op handnieuws.nl. En kijk zeker eens op hoppiescoop.nl, pi3utr.nl of pi610.nl. Daar kun je vinden hoe je deze fantastische repeatersystemen kunt helpen door ze met desnoods een klein bedrag te sponsoren. Tot zover de Daily Minutes voor vandaag. Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Eco Tingo Eco.